let's go through the steps of scheduling a payment on Settle. So once you've uploaded an invoice to Settle, the easiest thing to do is come to your payables page and then navigate to the unscheduled tab where all of your invoices that haven't been paid yet will be waiting for you. So we can select one of these invoices and the first thing we'll want to do is review all the details in this payment panel and make sure they match up with the invoice itself. In this example, this is a dummy invoice. The details do not match, so don't pay attention to that, but you would want to make sure obviously that those details align. We'll make sure that the vendor is accurate. And if it's not, we can select another vendor from our vendor dropdown. But in this case, uh, we do want Mary Sperry's to show up. We'll ignore this for now again, since this is a fake email address, but we'll check all of the other details, invoice date, due date. We do flag a little warning if the payment is overdue. It doesn't affect the payment itself that you schedule on Settle, but it's more so just a flag to you hey, heads up, this is overdue, um, but you're more than welcome to schedule that payment anyway. Now, when we look at the payment details, there's a few things that we can do here. So the first off, so first off, double check that the amount is correct and double check that the currency is correct. We do allow for payment in foreign currencies. So if we select a foreign currency like the Euro, let's say, we will show you the exchange rate and how much money we're actually going to be charging you in US dollars. Let's just make it easy for now. Another option we have available is to split this invoice into multiple payments. So there's a lot of cases, obviously, where vendors want to charge you, say, 30% up front before they ship the inventory out, and then you'll pay the other 70% once the inventory arrives or whatever your terms um, are that you've agreed on. So you can go ahead and click the split payment button and you can enter whatever amounts you'd like. So we can do, uh, let's do 10,000 here, and then we'll pay the other 30,000 separately. We'll then select the payment method. So we offer wire transfers, both international and domestic, as well as ACH and paper check, which are both domestic options. If you're on one of our paid subscriptions, all of these payment options will be included under that subscription. So there's no additional cost. If you're on our free tier, you do have 10 free ACH payments available to you after that point. Any payment beyond that will be $5 per transaction, so still very affordable. We'll select the bank account that we want to pay from, as well as the bank account we want to pay to. The nice thing is that this pay to information is populated from our vendor information that we store up here. So we can see vendor information. I won't go into too much detail here, but we can change any vendor details on the fly if we want to. And we'll store that information so the next time that we're paying Mary's Berries, it'll be a much smoother, faster process. If you are sending a paper check, obviously just want to flag that you'll wanna make sure that this business address is accurate and that it can receive mail because that's where we'll be sending that check. If you connect your bookkeeping software, you'll also be able to select your expense details and your categories. And then we can go ahead and schedule the payment. I'm actually going to simplify this even further and unsplit this payment. So when we select payment options, we have three different options available to us. We can pay ASAP. So what that means is we are going to initiate whatever form of payment that you've requested as quickly as possible. So if you're scheduling a payment outside of business hours, obviously we won't actually be able to do anything, but we will initiate that payment as soon as we can the next business day. So this is going to be your fastest option. We do provide you with an ETA based on whatever time and day that you're scheduling that payment. So you have kind of a heads up. Or we can cancel that because I didn't actually mean to do that. 
and we can select a different payment option. So we also have the option to schedule a payment, in which case we pull up this calendar for you and show you not only the ETA that you can expect based on the payment date that you're requesting. So the payment date itself is the date we're going to debit your account. And then the ETA is obviously the ETA to the vendor. But we also show you the actual due date of the invoice on the calendar as well, just so you have all of those details in one place. And finally, if you qualify for Settles Financing, you may have the option to extend your payment terms. So that process is really simple as well. So if you are successfully underwritten, we will allow you to pay us back later. So we'll pay your vendor up front and you can pay us back on a schedule of your choosing. So again, depending on the terms of, of your agreement, this can vary, but um, in this example, we'll select 120 days and we really believe in transparency at Settle, so we will show you upfront the fee that you'll be paying each month and the final payment, which is the principal on the date selected. We would hit proceed and then sign a little agreement and that's it. Super simple. So once you schedule that payment, you'll see the status change and it'll move over to the scheduled tab. And from here, depending on how long ago you scheduled it, you'll be able to reschedule it or cancel the payment as you saw me do previously. So that's how easy it is to send a payment on Settle.